Hi guys, welcome to my tarot card reading. Sit. No, don't get on my table. Sit in your chair. Please. Just sit. Thank you. Okay. So my cat is here, obviously. <laughs> don't mind my cat. I'm sure you did. This is a Libra reading. Oh, hold on. I literally have such a strong arena to bring my bell. So. Okay. Now I get one card for Libra. Okay. I didn't get just one. I got two. The Tower and the Moon card. Okay. Tower and the Moon. Y'all could be having some pretty intense dreams for sure. Okay. I'm going to get two from this deck too. I need some cards for you guys today. I'm getting drawn to these two top cards. Well, the two of wands is also probably significant for you. But we got the six of swords and strength. I'm getting the six of swords in reverse. Okay, and strength. And then I want to get two more tarot cards. And then a word from spirit. Okay, gave me too many right there, but here they are. Five of Swords and the Nine of Coins. Awesome. Just one of these for Libra. back and refresh a quest for change i'm gonna take a quest for change and then um go back and refresh could be significant for you guys and then a word from spirit good vibes i see good vibes um but let's get one good angelic yes okay y'all are very angelic Spirit, ancestors, guides, divine powers, all of my spirit babies help me to translate this message to them and get them the message that they need across, please. Okay, so strength is in the center of your reading. So I'm seeing that y'all are being very strong right now. You could be standing your ground. You could be changing things around in your life, getting rid of things that you don't need. I'm seeing that, like, you could be doing a lot of um, protection spells, you know, like moon power spells. Um, maybe you pray a lot. Maybe you meditate a lot. Um, you are headed towards the nine of coins or you are manifesting the nine of coins, which is like self-sufficient energy. I'm getting that you could be carrying some of your burdens from the past with you though and they are making your ship heavier if this makes sense like your ship could more easily be sunk in a storm because you have weight on your ship so it's just getting like throw some of the shit overboard bitch <laughs> like um whatever is not serving you on your ship mentally 
and it's just causing dead weight throughout the overboard. Um, there's this magical new beginning coming for you. Angelic has a th number zero under it, which signifies new beginnings. It, and this full moon is giving you zero energy, new beginning energy. With the tower, things might have recently crumbled down for you, and it feels like you're at rock bottom. But the thing about rock bottom is the only way to go is up. So, y'all could be in a mountain in this card. It's saying to me, like, you could be at the beginning of a journey, a mountain, you know. And you could be like, I just finished a journey. I know. There's more to come, though. And that's why you need to release some of your baggage. So, that's just, like, the whole message here for me, I think. Is no beginnings, flowy energy, very strong energy here, but there's some things that could be let go of that need to be so that in the future you won't have them weighing you down. You know, like I said, if a storm comes around, you want to be only having the things that help you out, not the things that are going to make it worse. So, um. The color purple, I'm getting like Harold's purple crayon vibes right now, like the um, story. Y'all could be drawer, artists, um, sculptors I'm getting. Fencers, cooks, flower, florists, or people who collect insects and they put them on boards. Something cool like that. Bird, taking care of birds. Someone who's a vet. Um, or someone who is a gardener. So, yeah. Maybe also, all the boat vibes that I'm giving you could be like um, a sailor. Maybe you just like to go ride your boat around. But, um, okay, I think that's all I got for you guys. Main points here. You are very, very strong. You are very angelic. You are graceful. You are beautiful. And you have infinite possibilities. So don't let this past stuff weigh you down from your nine of pentacles and just flow. Like, use your intuition. You have a strong intuition. And just even if things seem like they're at the bottom of the bottom of the bottom, you're going to, you're going to go to the top. I also just looked up at the cards and I seen eyes melt into the soul and original so y'all could be very original also i just noticed this girl's eyes are red so y'all could just have very like intense eyes um or different colored eyes let me get one more or eyes that are just like illuminated like with light well with this yellow color all over your reading wealth is definitely something that people see when they see you so i think that's all i'm gonna do also you have star energy star at the top of the deck five of swords again at the bottom of the deck there's obstacles here that um you are making a bigger deal than they are you could just go around them so if there's anything that's like in the way, move it. Get out of its path and go around it. You know what I mean? Like y'all are definitely the magician and you need to take your power, like claim your power, you know, in all situations. Even if you feel lazy or negative, you can't let that take over you. Bye guys.